Hello. In this video, we will cover some questions which are asked on if else if else statement in Python. Before we jump into questions, let's take a minute to understand what an if statement is. If statement is a decision making statement. A check condition is used to decide whether a certain statement or block of statement will be executed or if it is not true then alternate block of statement is executed. The syntax is as shown. After an if statement, you can have zero or more else if statements. You can also optionally have one else statement in the end. If the boolean expression evaluates to true, then the block of statements inside the if statement is executed. If the boolean expression evaluates to false, if there is else if, the next else if block is executed or if there is an else, the else block is executed or the first set of code after the end of if statement is executed. Now the first type of question could be for you to find errors in the program and correct it. Like in this program, colon is missing after the else, also print statement after else is not indented. Another similar question is as shown. Here if you see, instead of comparison operator, assignment operator is used in if. This will give an error as only logical expressions which evaluates to true or false are to be used. The second error is that else has a following expression. Expression is allowed only in if or else if. Hence this needs to be corrected. Another kind of problem asked is to predict the output. What is the output of these lines of code? Here since a is between 5 and 15, the if part will get executed. So it will print a divided by 2. So are you going to write the answer as 5? Since slash performs a floating point division, it will give the answer in float and the answer will be 5.0. Another similar question is what is the output of if else if ladder. Here first it will check a is greater than 2 and since it is true it will execute and print greater than 2. It will however execute only one block out of the else if ladder. It will start comparing from the top and moment the match is found it will ignore all other else if statements below even if they are true and exit the if block. Other kind of question would be where you are asked to write a program, like check if a character is vowel or not. Here you will first take in the character from the user, then you will put together the if block where you can use the membership operator to check if character is part of vowel list. If yes, then you can print it is a vowel, otherwise not. Another question could be to write a program to find if a number is buzz number or not. Buzz numbers are numbers which are divisible by 7 or end with 7. Here you will first take in an integer value from the user and then write two expressions. First to check if n is divisible by 7 by using the modulus operator. And the second expression we will do modulo 10 to see if the remainder is 10 or the last number is 10. Then we will combine it using the logical operator or and print the output for true and false condition. To practice more questions on Python, do visit my website for more problems for you to solve for your exam. Good luck!